Ruby magic won't defeat these things. Oh no, oh, okay, okay, die. <laughs> Hey guys, what's up? Ellie Charlotte here and welcome back to Enchanted Oasis. We are in the community fairy ring. So let's head back to my house over there. So last episode I went on an adventure with the girls and I collected a couple of these fireflies which I'm actually going to take down because I saw some co- Why is there a piece of wool here? What the heck? I saw some comments saying that I could put these into jars and I thought that would be super adorable. So that's what we're going to do this episode. We're going to need some glass bottles. So I think we have some left over from the potions and let's just put the fireflies into the jars. Okay, so don't quite know how these work. Can I just put it on there? <gasps> Cute! Let's put one out here as well. Um, how about here? <gasps> yes. I'm not sure that they provide light though. So we might actually need the torches after all. Hang on a second. What the heck? I could have sworn that that was stone before. Oh, what the heck? <gasps> what? What the? What just happened? Why are there a silverfish inside here? I'm so confused. I'm gonna kill it with magic. Yeah, that's right. You take- What the heck? Ah, oh, my poopy magic won't defeat these things. Oh no, oh, okay, okay, die. Phew! Nice! So, let's replace this then. That was a bit weird. So I've also been reading the comments and I noticed that Cupquake is looking for a peacock butterfly and I happen to have one of those on my wall right here. So I wonder if I can hit this and get this back. And then, earlier I saw an uncrafting table over in the community area. So I'm not exactly sure what an uncrafting table does, but I'm gonna go ahead and assume that it uncrafts things. So hopefully I'll be able to get my sticks and the butterfly back. Oh gosh. Oh, there we go. We got the butterfly back and the sticks. Not so excited about those. But here we have the dead peacock butterfly. And this is something that Cupquake has been trying to get for a while. So I'm going to make a chest so I can leave it outside her house because currently the mailboxes are malfunctioning. So they are out of order for now. I'm going to make three chests because I'm going to get gifts for all the girls. I'm also going to make a sword because as you saw earlier, I had to use my stupid magic to defend myself. Why is there a hole? Are silverfish eating my house? Is that what's happening right now? Let's craft this baby. Now we have a defense against the dark arts and other things. Ooh, butterfly, I'll catch it. Hello. They don't sit still ever. Oh. Ah! Did I get it? I got it. It's a purplish copper. I already have one of those. I see another. Ha! Ah, I caught it. It's an orange emigrant. I actually don't have one of those. You know what? We should make a butterfly encyclopedia so that we know. Oh gosh. Oh no, we need the dead peacock for that. Oh, I don't have any of these. Whereas Cupquake actually has all of these and is only missing the peacock. So I'll give her the peacock and we'll make a butterfly encyclopedia another time so that we can keep track of which butterflies we have. Oh, there is already a chest here from Vengelf. Did anyone else hear a cat? Because I did. Okay, I think we'll just pop the chest down here and we'll just put the peacock in there. And um, we need a sign. I forgot to make a sign. I hear a skeleton. It's not in my house, is it? What? I'll teach you a lesson. A magical lesson. Yeah, I leveled up. But before we get distracted and carried away, let's go put the sign on the chest over here and she will be able to create her butterfly encyclopedia. That must be why she wanted the dead peacock. Oh no, it's raining. Actually, what's really cool when it rains is that these little puddles appear in the ground and they're so cute. But we should probably go inside because my hair is getting all wet and it's dark and there are mean things that want to kill me. Close the door. Okay, so the next thing that I want to get is some gold for Annie or Vengelf because I happen to know that she is collecting gold at the moment. 
let me see how much gold I actually have. I have three pieces of gold. So I think what we're going to do is go on a little adventure down into the mines to find some gold. Apparently it's quite rare and she's having some difficulty finding it. So let's hope that we are a little more lucky. And perhaps if we're lucky we'll also find another diamond so that we can finish our enchanting table. Because I realised that you actually need two diamonds to make an enchanting table and not one. So yeah. So all I can make at the moment is a diamond spade, which is not really high on the list of priorities. So I'm assuming that she has looked in all of the caves close by, so I'm going to try and go far away to one of the caves that she might not have explored before. Oh no, the taint is still here. Oh no. Take that. And that. Get out of here. And that's all I'm going to do, because I don't have any more mana. Whoa! Something attacked me. Ow! Okay, it was that. Yeah. And I think I'll put my wings on and we'll fly. Because that's a little faster than running, I feel. I'm not going to fly too high above the ground because last time I did that I fell to my death. So we're going to be a little more careful this time. Ooh! That looks like it could be a ravine. That's over there somewhere. There's also a huge tower. Shall we go in the tower? Let's replace my wings with armor, just in case. Oh! oh my gosh, what? What? Wait, what? What the heck? What? What the heck was that? What? Spikes? It was a trap floor! Okay, gonna be a little smart about this. Here we go, now we can just climb up here. Hopefully there are no more spikes. There's a torch up here, does that mean somebody's been up here? Well this is a rather uneventful tower. And I almost killed myself to get up here, but I found a cave, I found a ravine. So it was worth it in the end. Let's get out of the creepy tower and let's get down the ravine. Okay, it's starting to get dark now, which is slightly worrying. Hang on, there was a bed in there. I could sleep in the bed, but then that would set my spawn and then I if I died, I would spawn there. But that might be good because then if I die, I could just go straight back into the ravine to get my stuff. So, yes, that's what we'll do. We'll sleep in this stranger's bed over here. And now it's daytime and we can safely make our way into the cave. Okay, I can't see any gold. But hopefully there is some down there. So, anybody see any gold? You know what we could have done? We could have flown down. Mm-hmm. I didn't think of that until... <laughs> Until it was too late, which is silly. I see a lot of ores, but none of them are gold. I think gold is more likely to spawn down here. Oh, that, that, that's, that's a, oh no, oh no. I don't have any more torches. There's a fatal flaw in the plan. We need to make torches. Ah, now we're safe. Okay. It looked like a spider spawner, so let's just go run in and light it up. Hehe. <laughs> Maybe we can get some ranged attack in. <laughs> okay. Now, maybe there's gold in here. Amber, iron, bucket, knowledge fragment, diamond horse armor, <gasps> a music disc, 13 again, gunpowder, more music discs. I'm gonna leave them behind. Name tag, I'll take that. I might actually replace some of the stuff in here because I don't need it. Now, onwards with the gold collecting. We didn't manage to find any down there. I like the look of this. It looks deadly and exciting. I'm scared. I still don't see any gold though. Ooh, is that lapis? It looks so cute. Whoa, I don't want to don't want to jump in there. I've got in a huge circle. <gasps> Hang on, I almost missed some. Ah. Oh. Hiding from me up there. Completely searched and we only found five pieces of gold. So we should probably start heading back in the direction of home. And hopefully we don't die on the way, otherwise we'll end up back here. I might just fly the rest of the way home, but my wings will probably run out at some point. But it's okay because Cupquake gifted us some sturdy wings in the last episode so we can use those. Look at that tiny zombie trying to chase me. Home sweet home. And our wings have still got a little bit of durability left. So I think I'm actually going to put my wings on this bookshelf here as a decorative item. 
I think they'll probably run out mid-use next time, so we don't want that. Here they are. Oh, they're obsidian wings. Cool. So we can put those on. What do these look like? Oh, <gasps> they are so cute. Look at me. I'm like a badass fairy. And let's smelt all of the gold ore that we got. We got eight. That's an embarrassingly poor attempt. But Annie needs gold and this is gold. So hopefully she'll be able to use this. So now the gold should be cooked, which means we can go and take it and leave it outside Annie's house as a gift for her. Pop that there, put the gold in the middle, and we'll leave a little sign there so she knows who it's from. She doesn't think someone's stalking her and giving her gold. And finally, we have to get a gift for Mitty, and I know exactly what I'm going to give her because her house is, whoa. Her house is flower themed, as you can see. So I would like to give her a flower magic wand so that she can plant her own flowers. Maybe she could fill this front garden with some flowerinos. So the magic wand is made with special bone meal and pollen. So first of all, let's make the special bone meal. So we're going to need some seeds. Mandrake seeds? I don't want those, I want normal seeds. Well, since we're wandering over in that direction anyway, I guess that we can collect some pollen too. So to collect pollen, we just need to break some of the stamen up here in the flowers. So we can just fly up here. And to get the pollen, you just break the stamen and it has a chance of dropping. That time it did not, but let's keep trying. Where is the stamen? How does this plant reproduce? I am having the worst luck with pollen right now. I don't want to break all the stamen because then there'll be none left. Yay, we got some pollen. Okay, we got two. Let's get a couple more. Hopefully this one will drop some. Yeah, okay. Now we have plenty, so we can go back now. And we should collect some seeds on the way because we're going to need those for the special bone meal. Man, I've got a lot of mandrake seeds. So without further ado, let's grab some bones or some bone meal. And let's craft some of the special bone meal, which we can then combine with the pollen to make a magic wand. I'm going to make two, one for me and one for Mitty. And then I'm going to demonstrate what they both do for you. So let's go to sleep and I'll show you in the morning. Okay, so I'm back over here at the flower biome to demonstrate the special bone meal to you. So if you take some special bone meal and a flower craft flower, such as this tulip here, and click it, oh, ow, it becomes a huge flower. And depending on which flower you use it on, you get a different big flower. So let's try it on one of the others. Let's try it on this one. Ooh, pretty. But even cooler than the special bone meal is the magic wand, which I will use right here outside my house because it spawns flower craft flowers. Isn't that cute? So we can have a bunch of them here. Oh my gosh. Silverfish ate my house. <laughs> now you get 10 uses out of this. So let's put a couple around the back to get rid of all this stupid grass because I want to replace it with flowers. And one final one here. Lovely, beautiful. So I'm going to keep these in my backpack for now. And I'm going to go give this one to Mitty. Oh, looks like Annie's been here as well. So let's leave ours here. Put the flower wand in the middle there. Okay, we left a little sign there so that she knows it's from us. So now everyone has a little gift. Hopefully I got them all something that they'll be able to use and they'll enjoy. I think the last thing I'll do before I end this episode is plant some of these seeds that I grabbed earlier. So the, um, the seeds from the witchery mod. I haven't actually made any progress on the witchery mod yet. So this is going to be the first. Oops. So I think we'll plant the snowbells here. And we'll plant the belladonna seeds here. And here we'll plant the mandrakes. And I think the water artichoke seeds have to be planted on water. So we'll just pop these here. So that's it for this episode of Enchanted Oasis. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to check out the other girls' channels so we can see if they enjoy their presence. And I hope you guys are enjoying this series as much as I am. If you are, don't forget to leave a like so that I know and I can continue to play this. Before next episode, I think I'm going to level up my Ars Magica level a little bit so that I can make a better spell because the one I have at the moment is not great. So I'll see you in the next episode. Well, the obvious answer would be the monster from Amnesia, which is, of course, gruesome, grotesque, and terrifying. 